everyone, welcome back to Bantu Music. In the last video I recorded, I tried out a set of eBay pipes and went over all of the uh, parts and all of the red flags. So I'll leave a link in uh, the description for that video. A viewer commented that they wanted to know what the pipe sounded like with a different set of drum reeds in and possibly a different chant read in, so that's what we're going to do right now. I have put in easy drone reads to the drones and what I believe is a Chesney read into the chanter. I don't think with the chanter because of the way it's built it's going to make much difference but let's see what it sounds like. Not bad, actually. Um, I think that the uh, drones happen to be, whoop, gosh. <laughs> the drones happen to be in the same place that they needed to be in um, order to be actually relatively in tune with the low A. I'm going to pull, the, what I'm gonna do is because these drones are so far apart, I'm going to put, I'm gonna pull them closer, to, I'm gonna attempt to pull them closer together and see what it does with the sound. <laughs> they're so flimsy and there's a little bit of air coming out of the blowpipe which unfortunately I still I still cannot get out actually you know what I just realized that these o-rings are extremely light so I'm going to actually bring the drones closer together to where they should be, which is um, about from here to here. So a significant difference. Let's see what these. Let's see if that changes the. Um, oh, that feels better already. Holy mackerel! Let's see if if it made a difference in the sound. That's already significantly easier to um, position. Wow, so that actually changed the tune, they made the tuning of the instrument significantly easier. The top hand is basically, um, not. there's nothing you could really do with the top hand. You could put a bit of tape on the holes. The low G up to B perhaps, not too bad actually. If you do happen to get a set of these pipes, then just know that there's a good chance that you're going to be able to move the o-rings securing the drone cords of the drones and you're going to be able to move those um, uh, along the, the tassels reposition the drones so that it's, they're at least easier to hold in their shoulder that's huge so that's what the pipes sound like ebay bay pipes sound like when you change the um, the drone reads in the drones Position the drones closer together so that they um, are easier A to mount on your shoulder and B easier to tune to an extent. But I would still not give these pipes to a beginner who's just going onto the pipes because they still are going to struggle because they're not going to get the sound that they want out of them. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.